Good morning, class. Today we will start a new chapter that is lesson number three, fiber to fabric. In this chapter, we will cover the following topics: that is fibers, fabric, natural fibers, synthetic fibers, and fiber to fabric. How can we make fiber to fabric? Example: He wears cotton clothes in summer, woolen clothes in winter. So, for the cotton and the wool, woolen, that all are. Fabric from which our clothes are made up of. Now that fabric, how that fabric is made up of? How from which material that fabric is made up of? Now the fabric, how is that fabric made up of? From which material that fabric is made up of? That is fiber. For example, there is a strand of fabric. For example, this is some weave fabric, and it is made up of a single strand fiber. This is fabric, and this is Let me show you through this demonstration. For example, you can see this. For example, you can see this. This is a piece of fabric. This is a piece of fabric. It is complete fabric from which a cloth is made up of. Now, can you see these strands? These strands coming out of this. These strands that are coming out of this fabric are known as fibers. One single piece is known as a fiber. So. Fiber is a thin strand from which fabric is made up of, and fabric is the material from which our clothes are made up of. There are many types of fibers: natural fibers and synthetic fiber that we will talk about later. So I hope fibers and fabric is clear to all of you. Now let's talk about types of fiber. There are two types of fiber: natural fiber and synthetic fiber. Natural, as the name suggests, it comes from the nature. So there are two natural sources. One is plant, and the other one is animal. We get many fibers from plants as well as animals. For example, we get jute, cotton from plants, and we get silk and wool from animals. There are many other fibers also we get from plants and animals. And synthetic fibers are the fibers that are prepared artificially in the factories or somewhere. They are produced artificially. That is why they are known as synthetic fibers. For example, rayon. nylon and many more fibers like this so let's talk about natural fibers first so now we will talk about some natural fibers for example cotton jute and coil cotton fiber is obtained from the fruit of cotton plant fruit of cotton plant means cotton balls fruit of cotton plant that is cotton balls we get cotton fiber from the fruit of cotton plants Fruit of cotton plants, that is cotton balls, they contain seeds as well as fibers. We need to separate them from the seeds so to get the fiber. And it requires warm climate to grow. It requires black soil to grow. If you see a cotton field, it looks like a snow everywhere. So cotton fiber is obtained from the cotton balls of the plant, and it requires warm climate and black soil. Now let's talk about the jute fiber. Jute fiber is obtained from the stem of the jute plant. It is obtained from the stem of the jute plant. It harvests when it is at flowering stage. Jute plant is obtained from the stem of the plant, but it harvested at the stage of flowering. When the jute plant is at the stage of flowering, then it is obtained that it is harvested. The basic stem of jute plant is then immersed in water for few days. and then it the fibers rot and it is separated from the stem by hands or some other machines so it require rainy season to grow why because it require a lot of water to grow to require a lot of water to grow that is why it is how to say that rainy season it grows in rainy season that is why it grows in rainy season we found jute fields in assam west bengal like areas in india and now let's talk about coir coir is the fiber that we get from the husk of coconut you might have seen the brown part or over the surface of the coconut that is the coir we get coir from the husk of the coconut uh, you might have seen many bed mattresses that have coir inside them so coir is the material that we get from the husk of the Let's talk about how cotton fiber is converted into cotton fabric. This process includes the following methods: ginning, 
spinning, weaving and knitting. We will discuss about all these methods in detail. Let's talk about the gift. I have already told you that we get cotton from the fruit of the cotton plant that is cotton ball. And cotton ball is does not have cotton ball does not have any specific shape. There is a cotton fiber present everywhere and inside it there are seeds. When cotton balls burst up, seeds we can see easily and on seeds, around the seeds there are fibers also. So when cotton balls burst up, we can see fibers as well as seeds. We need to separate the seeds from the fibers because we don't want seeds to be used. We don't have any use of the seed. We need seeds to be separated from the cotton fiber. So the process of separation of seeds from the cotton fiber is known as ginning. Ginning is the process of separation of cotton fiber from the cotton seed. Now let's talk about spinning. Before uh, spinning is the process of converting fiber into yarn. Now what is yarn? You might have seen a circular like structure if you have seen your mother knitting the woolen clothes using the wool. So you might have seen this structure like wool of wool like structure like this. So this is yarn. Yarn is we have to convert the fiber. We have to stretch the fiber and twist the fiber to make it a single thread. So that we can use it to convert into fabric. So that is yarn. Yarn is the stretched and twisted form of fiber. Is it clear? So this is spinning. Spinning is conversion of fiber into yarn. Now weaving. Weaving is we have to arrange two sets of yarn together to make a fabric. Two sets of yarn. Two sets of yarn. Here I am talking about two sets of yarn. That is weaving. And knitting is when we use only one set of yarn to convert it into fabric. For example, if it was done by Charkha, Charkha was get popularized during the Mahatma Gandhi's movement. Mahatma Gandhi was the first one to use the Charkha. He used to say, he used Khadi, beer Khadi, boycott all the British items. So, spinning was done by Charkha then and in ancient times. Nowadays, it is also done by Charkha in some areas or tuckli or hand spinning.